uh, with Python uh, at uh, Max. So we talk about the uh, loading Python, and that is a loading Python module. And also show how to run Python scripts and uh, start the Python command line. Uh, I should say also that we start to look a little bit on packages here and uh, to really show that we have many packages already installed. Uh, yes. But now first, uh, let's look at the module system. So, the module systems at Max and HPC turn are slightly different, I should say. Uh, so the modules at Max are not directly, which are not directly related to bioinformatics. They will be shown directly by the command module available. Uh, at HPC 2 uh, n modules are hidden by default until you load one of yeah, the prerequisites for it. Uh, most often it's a compiler, and for Python, uh, it is GCC. So that means that you have to load GCC first, and then you can also see what is uh, available for uh, those modules that are dependent on GCC. Uh, we will look at this. So, also to mention, for reproducibility uh, reasons, uh, you should always load a specific version of a module instead of just the default version. And I guess that uh, many of you have uh, seen problems with uh, uh, Python packages that are not, uh, uh, they are not compatible with each other. Uh, so uh, if you know that uh, something worked before, you should uh, note down which versions that were used so that you can reproduce your results again. Uh, this might happen if you uh, have uh, made an anal analysis and uh, or finished with your manuscript, but then you get some uh, reviews and you have to re yeah, re remake some things. And meanwhile, you updated your Python. And then you try to do the same graphs again, but with minor changes. And then you can't do it because now you have a newer Python version and some other packages that uh, are not the same really. So it's good. Yeah, so that, that's why we also provide several versions of Python so that you can go back to versions that you have used before. And uh, instead of a, uh, yes, uh, yeah, it, it, the best way I, I believe and many others believe is to have this module system so that you specifically load one version uh, of Python, for instance. Uh, and then you use it. Uh, yes, yeah, we come back to this, I think. Yes. Uh, so we can check for Python versions. So now you can type along. And uh, first we can try for uh, Opmax. We can do module uh, available. And we can short avail Python. And it seems that uh, it has to think a bit, think a little bit. Uh, now, yes. Uh, so uh, here we see some uh, extra modules. 
uh, we have machine learning, we have GIS, we have also have something called Wolf Python. But what we are interested in is the yeah compilers. We we call them, but even though that uh, it is not really compiling, maybe. Uh, so we have some Python two point seven. These are very old, but uh, uh, some code that you come over uh, requires these uh, older uh, versions. I mean, if you use other person's code, basically. Uh, otherwise, we have up to Python 3.11. And this is also the so-called default version. So if we just load Python without the version, this is the version that will be given. Uh, for HPC 10, you have to first do this module spider Python. And see if I can share. So we do module spider python. Yeah. Okay. So with spider, you can actually see all of the uh, uh, the hidden uh, modules. Here we see we have some two point seven, but we also have from three three seven up to three eleven. Can just show now if I try to module load the Python version here. Uh, this will not work. So uh, I should use a module uh, no module spider and then a specific version here like 3.11. And here we see that, okay, you should load this one first. So I will do that. Um, load. load. And then I go back and try to load Python here. And then it will work. And I can list these ones. And we see that, okay, Python 3.11 is loaded. Some other important uh, libraries as well. And also GCC. Yes. So here is basically the output that we have. Uh, and as you saw here, I loaded just Python. And then we get got to 3.11. And that was because uh, this one was default on Kemikhalse. So, and for Upmax, if I do, okay, if you are inside this more, uh, if you press Q, you will come out. So Q for quit. So I can do module Python. Okay, what happened now? Uh, ah, module load, sorry. Module list can be shortened by this ML only. That's fine. So Python 3.11 is what we get. Yes. But now we want to, to have a 3.95. So no, uh, you can type along here. 
So uh, we can do this short one and we paste module load 395. And that you see that you can only have one Python loaded at the time because otherwise you will get uh, uh, clashes. So here we reload Python 3.11 to 3.95, which is seen by this one. Okay. I can uh, unload as well. So did we get have this? Yes, here we have the cheat sheet, sorry. Uh, we can now try to unload this one. Uh, first, we can do it like this Python dash v, which is for version. And we see that this Python is 395. We can also do which uh, Python. And you see that. Uh, it will be in this directory called, yes. So this is specific for Rackham, for instance, and it's in this SW uh, directory. Now, if we unload this one, so we do module load minus Python. And now I'm using tab complete so that uh, you can, so you don't have to write everything. Uh, we look at our uh, modules and we see that we only have bookmarks. We have no uh, Python module loaded. Now we can go back and do Python version dash uppercase V. And we see, okay, Python 2.5, 2.75. So still, we can actually work with Python, but uh, it will be an old version. We can change this Python to Python 3, and we have this old Python 3, 6, 8 version. So these are the so-called uh, system Pythons. And uh, Uh, yes, don't use them uh, because uh, they will not have uh, so many packages, just the standard ones that are included. And most of all, they are old. So uh, when you're working with Python, always load a module. So that is true for both uh, the UPAX clusters and for HPC to end clusters. So th th this is just to show that uh, if you don't load it, you will get something that you uh, most probably will not uh, want to have. Yes. Uh, yes. I will now look at the Python tree again. You see that at the max, we will have also Python 3 and Python. And that is, uh, yeah, that makes it possible for you to use Python 2 and Python 3 in parallel. So if you want to use Python 2 for some part of your work, but also Python 3, you can use this one. And uh, then you run your Python 3 scripts with the Python 3 command, and your Python 2 scripts with the Python command. That will probably not happen too often, but if it how happens, like for a pipeline or a, a workflow, then uh, uh, this is a good uh, opportunity.
Okay. So next step is to look at the Python scripts. And uh, well, there are many ways to edit a script. Uh, if you are rather new, I would say that you could use a graphical one, uh, the edit, and that is installed both for OpenMax classes and HPC 2 n uh, this ampersand is for letting you to use the terminal while the editor window is open. That's quite good. Uh, but either you have to use ThinLink or uh, X uh, forwarding. You can also use the terminal directly. And uh, for instance, you can use none of them. Uh, But uh, yeah, if you have worked a lot with this before, uh, you will know how to do. So maybe you use Vim, Vim or uh, Emacs. But yeah, that's up to you. It might be so that uh, some of us teachers uh, use V or v Vim. Uh, and uh, if you are not acquainted with it, uh, try to avoid this uh, and use nano instead or the key edit. But if you by mistake start the Vim and don't know how to uh, exit, then just press escape and then colon Q. And you need to also put the exclamation mark in yes, case that you have written something. Thing. Yes, uh, because the exclamation mark uh, tells you that you you don't want to save. Yes, so now let's make a script with the name example p uh, example.py. And uh, you should be able to just copy this one. And uh, I do this non example.py and it would look like this. Now we can insert uh, the following text. So just copy pasting. Uh, so this, this program prints hello world, basically. Uh, next step uh, save and exit. And in Nano, we could do Control O and Control X, and Control is this uh, uh, top mark, or, or what do you call it? Maybe hat, but hat. I'm not sure. Yes, yes. So Control O, uh, and we should also press Enter because we want to call it the example Pi, and exit. So now we are back. So see now that, okay, now we we were inside the terminal uh, all the time. I could just show the edit example, hi, and I use this ampersand, and this should open a new. So it looks like this. So now you can use your mouse in, in a good way. And uh, yes, uh, it could be a little bit more simple to work with. But that requires that you have more graphical opportunities. Okay. Uh, I will not save. Um, yeah, there will be some warnings probably, but uh, that's not so important. That doesn't matter. Now, uh, we can run this. Uh, but which Python did we have? Okay, Python 2.75. So let's load this uh, Python slash 3.9.5. And we can check that we have it, Python 3.9.5, great. And we can try to run Python example.py. Hello world. So the output is given in the command line here in the terminal. Oh, 
hope it works for you. Uh, can you maybe do a thumb up if it works for you? Hmm? Yeah. So right now, uh, we are at Rackham 2. That is one of the login nodes. So please remember, only run jobs that are short. And I will say that this hello world is a very short job, not requiring too much uh, uh, resources. But if you need more resources, we will uh, use the batch system or interactive sessions. So more about that uh, before lunch. Uh, we can also run uh, interactive shells, uh, but uh, okay. I wonder if there was something not included here. Uh, we could try to just play Python. Now we come to the ordinary uh, command line for Python. And here we can, uh, yes, do some tests like uh, four plus three and uh, g equals four, and we can print g like this. Uh, we also have for max installed uh, IPython. I will now quit this by control D. And you can see that uh, here, this is one. You can also use quit or exit. Uh, we can also try IPython uh, from Upmax that is already there. And then you will get uh, these numbered lines instead and a little bit more interactivity. Uh, Control D again to go out and I want to exit, yes. Also have a Jupyter Notebook, but we don't have to, yeah, we will go, we will find something about this uh, later on. So we just jump this one right now. Excuse me, can I ask something? What, how did you do the keyboard interrupt? I completely missed it. Yes, uh, when I was inside uh, Python, I did Control D. Control D, thank you. Yes, uh, and it will also use work with exit, but okay, I need to also have this parenthesis. Wonderful, thank you. Yes. And now I think it's time for break. Uh, so after break, we will just briefly look at the packages, Python modules uh, on our systems what is already there. Yes, so we meet again at uh, 10.15. Okay, so it's 10.15. And um, we are already a little bit uh, behind schedule. So we will go through this, uh, not every step, I guess. So, uh, packages, um, as you know, but uh, if you're new to this, uh, the packages, you could say, broaden the use of Python to almost infinity, because there are so many users, it's a so big a community that many people have uh, uh, contributed with their expertise to write interesting code for many different uh, areas. Many scientific tools are distributed as Python packages. 
and if you are interested in in, in packages and how to develop yourself, maybe uh, there is a uh, course link here. So now let's see what about the packages at Upmax. So uh, we can for both clusters uh, find all the tools or yeah that could be Python based maybe. So if we, for instance, uh, look here at the HPC term, I will now do a module spider uh, Python. Ah, okay, I should do just Python, maybe. Yeah, so here you have uh, ASE, for instance that they are acquainted with Python 3.7. And uh, Amber, for instance, we have some Python, Python connections and so on. So you, you can see everything related to Python, by Python also. So that's one way. Uh, so that are, that, that is basically tools that are based on uh, uh, the Python languages. Uh, you can also, if you have a Python installed, uh, uh, active, I mean, as a module, you can do a pip list. And here you see that uh, we have, at Upmax at least, we have many tools here. If I do the same at uh, uh, Kembe Kaiser, pip, List. Uh, it seems that we just have in this case four. Uh, yes, most of it is in the SciPy bundle. Yes, precisely. Uh, but more about that in a while. Uh, within uh, Python, so if you start Python here. Now I'm back at Upmax, but uh, it should be the same there. You just try to import. So in, for instance, matplotlib. And if it works, then it's there. If it does not work, we can try with something else. Uh, let's do flask. Uh, OK. Module not found, no module name flask. Okay, so that, that, that's a way to uh, find out this out. And I had prepared a exercise, but I think we will jump this. Uh, if you decide to do this afterwards, uh, there is a solution uh, as well that you can look at. Uh, Yes, but what we will see is uh, that for Upmax, many packages or Python modules are already installed when you lower the module. Uh, if you want to get more like uh, uh, machine learning, you can load uh, this uh, module. Uh, a track on the CPU version is uh, available on Snowy and Bianca. You can also load a GPU version where you can use uh, the GPUs, basically. Uh, for APC to N, uh, you can load several, yeah, you, you can load these modules to, yes, uh, together with the Python you have loaded so that you get more packages. Yes. So uh, you can run Python shell sessions, you can run scripts. Uh, you, before you run uh, Python also, you have to first load the Python module. Don't use the system Python. Uh, you can check for packages. Uh, and uh, well, 
we did not cover this, how to install new ones, but uh, we will cover that in the next session. Uh, so, yes, uh, this is mainly for the next session. So I will leave uh, the word to Birgitte and she will continue with the next section here.